I'm here to try a little experiment with my Chevy Volt. Um, we want to see how um, much or how we, how much we can recharge the battery without plugging the car in using the the built-in generator. Now, for those of you with a sharp eye, yes, you'll notice that my car is plugged in. Very very sharp of you to notice that. Uh, I have already conducted this experiment. This video is not shot in sequence. But I'll explain what we did. I drove the car for just over 40 miles today. Drove it for 63, I believe it was 63 kilometers. We'll, we'll see in the next clip. And I had the, um, the range down to zero. Zero kilometers, zero miles remaining as I rolled into my driveway. I the engine did not start. I kind of timed it where I kind of drove around the block a few times. I wanted to get down so that it was at zero, but the engine had not started. That noise you hear, by the way, now, that's the cooling system for cooling the battery as I'm recharging the battery up, and it's it's warm out. That's the, the fan on there cooling, charging the battery. But anyway, I ran the battery to the point where it was at zero miles, zero kilometers remaining, on the um, on the on, on the on the battery remaining gauge, but it had not switched to uh, gas mode. And what I did is I switched the car to mountain mode. Now mountain mode will automatically start the generator up and start putting charge in the battery. And what I wanted to see is I wanted to see how much charge could be put in the battery at 10 minutes and how much fuel would be used. Okay folks, as you can see, I've, I've had the engine running for 9 minutes and 16 seconds right now. In that time I have burned 0.88 liters of gas. I'm going to only let it run for 10 minutes. I think 10 minutes will be a good control. And then I'm going to switch it back to normal mode and we'll see how much electric power has been stored in the battery after running the engine without driving the car for 10 minutes. And that'll give you an idea of how much you can put back in. We've used exactly one liter of gas and I'm going to be shutting down the engine in approximately 15 seconds. So there we know one liter of fuel for every 10 minutes that the engine runs and I'm going to be shutting down the engine in about five seconds here. So we're going to press the button to switch the drive mode back to normal and there we go. Our drive mode is back to normal. One liter of fuel has been used and ta-da! We have gained 15 kilometers in range. We had zero kilometers in range on the battery when we started this experiment. So 10 minutes of, of running the engine will give 15 kilometers, which is about 10 miles, I guess, of range. If I go to, um, if I go to config, where's my no, wrong button here? Uh, wait a second. If I go to select and I select from metric i select it back to us and we'll see okay nine miles no 10 miles there we go 10 miles so there we go we know exactly now if we take the chevy volt and we've got zero miles left on the battery we've used 9.8 kilowatt hours of our energy and that was to take me 39.2 miles as you can see i'm still configured for for uh, miles so my drive that i just did 39.2 miles or 63 kilometers. That's my distance on my charge of my battery. I then ran the gas engine for exactly 10 minutes. In that exactly 10 minutes of time, I burned one liter of fuel and put 16 kilometers or 10 miles of range back onto the battery. So, based on that calculation, the engine should be able to bring the battery to a full charge in 40 minutes and it would burn four liters of gas to fully charge the battery. So now what I've done is I've, I've put my Volt back in mountain mode again after running the engine for 10 minutes and I found that I gained 10 miles of range. I put it back in mountain mode again and I'm going to run the engine for another 10 minutes and I should have 20 miles of range and I know I'm burning a little bit of gas for this experiment but we need to know what this thing is capable of so let's see what happens with another 10 minute charge well, as you can see we've been sitting here now for 14 minutes with the engine running in mountain mode 
to uh, put charge back in the battery and as you can see the battery and you know it tells me it's on engine power the battery is recharging you can see the green coming up on the battery and it's showing it now to be about a quarter of a charge what my what I'm curious is will the engine shut off when it gets to that 40% as the instructions say that the mountain mode is designed to build a 40% buffer on your battery will the engine stop when the battery gets to the 40% charge my guess is that it will and it will shut down at that point and we'll see how many miles of range uh, that it goes to it's now been coming up exactly 15 minutes in about five seconds it's 15 minutes right now the engine's been running hey look at that the engine shut off exactly 15 minutes so there is your there is the answer to that question if i switch my drive mode now because i'm still in mountain mode but as you can see i'm still in mountain mode but the engine is now turned off if i switch my back to, to drive mode it goes back to gas and it tells me that i have put 23 miles of range back on the battery and if i go over to the energy info my energy info is showing that oh no sorry 23 kilometers on the battery sorry i'm in metric mode now we'll switch it to miles in a second here in miles I have put 14 miles on the battery back in charge. I had zero when I started this experiment. So I put 14 miles or 23 kilometers on the battery. And uh, we're going to switch this back to metric so that I can look and show that I have burned 1.38 liters of gas. 1.38 liters of gas will put 23 kilometers. But we know that it was 16 kilometers to one liter for a 10 minute charge one it, it went it put um, it put 16 kilometers on a 15 minute charge will give me 23 kilometers of range or in us 14 miles of range 14 miles of range took 0.36 uh, gallons of fuel so based on that information it will be relatively easy. I'll use the 10 minute charge at one liter because it's easy to figure things out that way. But based on that um, usage, it's relatively easy to figure out how much 10 miles, because it was 10 miles, how much how much gas 10 miles takes to, to generate. In the case in Canada right now, our gas is about a dollar, um, well, premium fuel is about a dollar 50 a liter. So to burn gas, to get 10 miles of range costs about a buck 50 on gas, okay? And to get 40 miles of range on electric power charging from the grid costs about a dollar. So there's the math for you, real simple terms. Can't make it any simpler than that.